Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when this video finds you. Coming into a seated, easy meditation pose, the left foot comes in right in front of your hips, the right foot comes right in front of your left foot. Knees are down on the mat or the floor as best as you can, as sort of comfortable as you can. Palms on the knees. Um, palms are either facing Mother Earth below you to receive that loving Earth Mother energy below you. Um, point your finger and thumbs come to touch each other. If you would like to receive an increase of energy flow, life force energy, maybe your palms are facing up to the universe. Starting to close your eyes, taking a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Start to set your intention and like uh, what, you, what you would like to receive out of today's class. Are you in the middle of manifesting something that you would like to focus your energy and intention on already manifesting that thing? Would you like to focus on a part of your body that you haven't paid attention to? You would like to send your loving vibration energy to it, universal energy to that spot. Do you want to focus on wholeness, going with the flow, strength, flexibility, balance? What is it that you want to focus on? Taking a nice deep inhale in through the nose to prepare for an OM, the sound of the universe. Inhaling through the nose. to heart center, bowing your forehead down, namaste, the light within me sees the light within you, placing your left palm right above your right palm, um, placing your right, right, your left palm right above your heart center, right palm right above your left hand, taking a moment to connect with your heart, feel it beating underneath you. Sending love, gratitude, thanks to your heart for all of its work that it does for you while you go on with your life, go on with your business. Remember to just focus on your heart. Inhaling, nice deep inhale. Arms come up, Earth Anasasana upward sway. Palms to the ceiling, or to the ceiling, yeah. Well, hands to the ceiling, fingertips to the ceiling. Palms together. Receiving that loving Earth Mother energy. Receiving that universal life force energy from above you. Even though it doesn't feel like we're doing anything right now, this does wonders for increasing your energy flow for a day, kind of like a cup of coffee. Inhale in, exhale, cartwheeling our palms over to the front of the yoga mat, coming into an extended child's pose. Big toes come to touch, um, knees to the outer edges of the mat. Inhale, pushing that belly button to the front of the yoga mat. Shoulders come to hug each other, lifting that chin up. Exhale, nice extended child pose. Hips come to your heels, extending your hands out in front of you. Forehead to the mat, extended child pose.
Let's see your breaks. Maybe you come onto your elbows, palms, um, come together. If you would like to receive more coffee, life force, energy, maybe your palms come above your head and thumbs right behind your neck. Placing your palms onto your mat and then bringing your knees back to center. Coming into a tabletop position, coming onto the palms of our hands. Wrists right below our shoulders, knees right below our hips. Inhale, coming into a cat cow flow. Inhale, belly button to the yoga mat, chin lifted up, shoulders held back. Exhale, coming into a cat, arching that back chin to chest, integrating a flow with your blood, inhale, coming into a cow, exhale, coming into a cat, inhale, into cow, exhale, into cat, we'll do two more, Going with your breath, inhale, into cow, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Coming back to center, let's go ahead and bring our palms so that they're about one hand distance in front of us. So we're just moving up about one hand distance front to the mat. Coming to the bottom of the toes, lifting our hips up, downward facing dog. Walking out our dog here for our first downward facing dog. Feet are about hip width apart from each other. Toes are slightly pointed to each other like pigeons. Gaze to your belly button, pressure is on your palms of your hands and your pointer fingers, your thumb, your middle finger. It's not in near the wrist or anything like that. So you don't want to put any pressure in the wrist. Gaze to the belly button, breathing one heel up and then the other, massaging out, walking out your dog here. Looking forward to the front of the yoga mat, stepping, hopping, or jumping to your yoga mat, coming into halfway up Ardhasana, straightening out your spine. Deep inhale in, exhale forward bend. Coming into a ragdoll here, grabbing onto each elbow, swaying from left to right. Losing tension in the back of that neck, letting that head fall up like it's on a rag doll. Slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, starting to come up. Arms coming up, um, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center and then to the sides of the body, Tadasana, mountain pose, standing tall and strong, just like a mountain. Chin lifted up, shoulders held back, bringing your belly button in. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, let's warm up our body with a nice sun salutation, comfortable sun salutation. Exhale, coming down into a forward bend. 
Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, placing your palms onto your yoga mat. Stepping, hopping, or jumping back to the back of your yoga mat. Plank pose. Inhale, shoulders on top of your ribs. Exhale, going down into Chaturanga. Modify this okay here if you need to put your knees down. Keeping your elbows close to your ribs. Coming to your belly button, pointing your toes, putting your feet into your yoga mat. Inhale, lifting up heart center, elbows close to your ribs. No pressure should be in that lower back, so we're putting our belly button into that yoga mat. Exhale, release. Inhale, coming into another cobra here. Exhale, release. Let's open up that heart center. Inhale, opening up heart center here. You can do another regular cobra if you would like to. Or maybe your palms reach back in between your legs for a little bit of a slight bound, bound in here. Exhale, releasing your palms back to your shoulders, underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lifting up your seat. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Coming to the bottom of your toes, walking out your toes here. We'll take about five breaths. <clears throat> Just walking out your dog, lifting one hip, heel and then one heel. Gaze to that belly button, really opening up those shoulders. See if your neighbor can start to hear your breath with your Ujjayi or Shin breath. Bringing your left heel in to a 45 degree angle as you prepare. Stepping forward with your right foot out in front of you. Arms come up. For um, Urdha Hasasana, let's come into a warrior one on the right side of that body. Right foot is in a 90 degree angle, strong back leg. Inhale, coming into heart center, starting to put your weight on that right leg, coming into warrior three on the right side. Releasing your palms onto your yoga mat, putting your left foot down, stepping back with your right foot. Inhale, let's come into another plank pose, shoulder blade above those wrists. Or you can come into a regular chaturanga or modified chaturanga. Inhale, coming into another cobra or upward facing dog of your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Bottom of your toes, gaze to your belly button. And then let's go ahead and bring our right heel into a 45 degree angle. And then stepping forward with our left leg out in front of you, arms come up. Left leg is in a 90 degree angle. Right leg is a strong back leg. Warrior one on the left side of your body. <clears throat> Standing tall and strong. Inhale, bringing your hands to heart center, starting to put your weight on your left side. Let's come into warrior three on the left side of your body, a little bit of a bounce. Releasing your palms onto your yoga mat, placing that right foot onto your yoga mat, stepping back, inhale, plank pose, shoulders on top of your wrist. 
exhale, chaturanga, modify the zip in here. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, coming to the bottom of your toes. Please end lifting up your hips, downward facing dog. Rocking your hips from left to right. Let's go ahead and place our knees onto the yoga mat, coming into a child's pose, regular child's pose, forehead on the mat, knees are together, arms extended, or coming to the sides of your body, palms facing up, ex um, down, uh, child's pose, regular child's pose. Letting your shoulders go. Slowly starting to come back up into a regular seated position um, where our seat is right above, right still on our heels and our knees are still together. Placing our palms to the sides of your body. Inhale, opening up heart center, just hugging our shoulders back, lifting up our chins, chest to the ceiling. Exhale, release. Inhale, let's go ahead and raise our palms above our head, interlocking our palms, and then our palms, uh, interlocking our fingers, palms facing the ceiling. Nice little stretch here. Inhale, pushing them back just a little bit. Palms come behind you a little bit, opening up those shoulders. Exhale, releasing your palms out in front of you, arching your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, let's do that again. Um, palms to the ceiling. Bringing your palms back a little bit for a nice stretch. Exhale, bringing your palms out in front of you, arching your back, chin to chest. Inhale, coming back to center, bringing your palms to your hips. Let's do just a little bit of a modification of hip openers here. A heart opener. Inhale, shoulders held back, lifting up the chin. Kind of like a Superman, slight pose while seated. Exhale, arch that back. Inhale, opening up heart center, shoulders held back, chin lifted up. Exhale, arching that back. <coughs> and then coming back to center. Lifting those arms up to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, let's go ahead and take a slight, just a gentle little bit of a spinal twist here. Left palm comes to the outer edge of that right knee or your right thigh. And right palm reaches to what's behind you. Gaze follows looks to your right fingertips or towards the direction of your right fingertips. A little bit of a spinal gentle twist. Inhale, arms come up, or Vasvasana. Exhale, coming into a twist on the opposite side. Left palm looks behind you, right palm on the outside of that left thigh, or left knee. Gaze looks to your left fingertips, or in the direction of your left fingertips. Inhale, coming back to center, arms come up, Urdhva Svasana, and then a little bit of a back bend here, pull up fingers towards your back. Exhale, hands back to heart center, and then palms come to the sides of our knees here. Let's just kind of inhale, just gently starting to work on those 
ankles here, lifting up those knees very gently and then coming back down, rocking back down, coming into a little bit of a rock, but we don't, we don't want to feel any tension or anything like that. So inhale, come back up very slowly, very gently, even if it's just an inch or a centimeter up, slowly coming back down, straightening out that spine. Inhale, coming back up, stretching out those ankles. Exhale, release. Stretching out those ankles a little bit more. Maybe lift just a centimeter more up. Big toe as you can, but be careful. We don't want to feel any tension or discomfort. Just a little bit of a stretch. Exhale, release. Let's come onto our palms and then crossing our ankles behind us. Bring your seat behind our ankles, extending your legs out in front of you. Let's just go ahead and pay a little bit of attention to those ankles. We're bringing them in a little bit of a circle and then bringing them to the other side, circle here. Let's come into a forward bend. So it, coming into Tadasana, um, South Pose, legs are engaged in front of us, straightening out that spine. Inhale, arms come up, Urdhva Hastasana, pointing those toes to the ceiling, keeping them engaged, keeping your feet engaged. Exhale, bend the arms to your legs. Either placing your knees on your thighs, shin, ankles, or around your feet, wherever you are. So let's go ahead and do the opposite stretch of what we just did with our ankles. Before we were stretching our feet that way, let's go ahead and bring our toes a little bit closer to our heart center towards us. Maybe your gaze follows, looks to your belly button, placing your forehead on your knees, on your legs, going down as low as you can or wherever you are, maybe just looking at your belly button. vertebrae, 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 starting to come back up. Let's go ahead and place our palms to the sides of our body. <clears throat> Fingertips are right uh, where our hips are. And so our, our, shoulder, our wrists are held back just a little bit. Fingertips are right here where our glutes, our seat are. Inhale, lifting up that belly button, pointing those toes, reverse plank. Your gaze looks up to the ceiling. Releasing your seat down onto your yoga mat. Slowly going down, placing your back onto the yoga mat. Coming into happy baby, peace fingers, wrap around your big toes, elbows to the insides of your knees, wrapping from left to right. Happy baby, massaging out that spine, maybe putting a smile on your face like a happy baby to get the most out of happy baby. Placing your feet onto your yoga mat. Placing your palms to the sides of your body. Your feet are about hip distance apart from each other. Inhale, lifting up that belly button to the ceiling. Coming into a bridge pose. If you would like, maybe you start to walk your shoulders together. Palms come to hold each other right underneath your seat. You're holding your hands. Bridge pose here, lifting up that belly button just a centimeter more because we can, keeping those glutes strong, your seat strong. 
exhale, slowly bringing around our lower back. On your next one, feel free to come into another bridge pose that we just did. But if you would like to maybe come into a full wheel pose here, bringing your palms to, to your ears, fingertips pointed to the bottom of the mat, coming into either that bridge pose again or coming into a full wheel. Slowly starting to come back down, making any last movements that you would like to make. Maybe coming into a spinal twist here. Just making any last movements before coming into Shavasana, laying down pose. Once you're in Shavasana, feet to the outer edges of the mat, palms, hands to the outer edges of the mat, palms facing the ceiling. Releasing tension in the shoulders, releasing tension in the necks. Maybe wrapping the neck the right way with your head. Maybe releasing up that neck tension, wrapping shoulder tension. Take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. Exhaling for 10, 9, 8, getting calmer and more peaceful, 6, 5, 4, your body is getting completely heavy now, 3, 2, surrendering to the now, 1, letting all peace and serenity flow through your body right now. Starting to imagine your happy place if you would like to, your peaceful place. Remind yourself you can always visit this place whenever you want to. With your eyes still closed, slowly starting to roll over to the right side of your body, giving yourself a nice big hug. Thanking yourself for bringing your favorite practice today. Thanking your body for its health, vitality, strength, and balance, flexibility. Anything else you would like to take a moment of gratitude for? And then once you're done, gently with your eyes still closed, coming up into a seated, easy meditation pose. Palms back to your knees in a neutral position. Inhaling in through the nose for closing your own shanti. Oh. your heart center, bowing your forehead down. Namaste. The light within me sees the light within you. You did absolutely incredible today. Be kind to yourself today, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. If you would like that flow book that I have been talking about, 
um, about one of the optimized optimal mind states that is best for human beings optimal flow state is that mental state how to get to it and everything like that link below about uh, that book so you can read the summary and see if it fits for you if you like it um, link is right below but namaste I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.